Make Sense Promotions. Make Sense Promotions. Hi guys, my name is Elena Yominde. We are live here at Computer Village, Ikeja, Lagos. We're here to visit OB Vine store. Come with me, let me take you in. Hello everybody. Good afternoon. We are from Make Sense Promotion. We are here to have like a very lively interactions with you. Make sense. Good afternoon, sir. We are from Make Sense Promotion. We are here to interview you and ask you some few questions about your business. Thank you. My name is Adobe Obey. What is your company name? My company name is um, Obey Vine Technology Solution. What's your position in this company? Um, I can categorically call myself the MD CEO of Obey Vine. So what's your responsibility at this, as the CEO of this company? Um, what I do basically is the day-to-day -day activities of the company, setting up the office before the business of the day, and um, partially attending to customers' requests and all. Okay. So how long have you been in this business? Well, I can, I can say I've been in this business for over 20 years now, and... Um, I think that's yeah. that's a lot. So, can you like share a story of how you started, how you got here, how your business has been booming, the losses that you've had? Has there been any regrets so far? Well, we all know in this country, businesses are all challenging to cope with, and I will say I've actually come a long way, and I. I partly know the in and out of the business and um, I basically start from this same environment and I'm still thanking God that I'm still here, still doing the same thing. So, I will say it's a little bit challenging in the sense that um, sometimes you have to meet customer's requests and you all, we all know that the businesses, there's always ups and downs and you need to meet up. So there are gains and there are losses, but what we do is customers are always right with us, we'll be fine. So what inspired you like, to actually start this business? Well, I would say I, I actually love tech, anything that has to do with tech, and that has actually been my calling. Though I have other businesses I am do, but Technology has always been my calling, and I love anything that has to do with computing, both the address of the end of it, so that's what we do. So what services does Amprudo, does Obivine offer us? As in uh, what we do, satisfying um, the tech world is actually our motto, and what we do is um, we make sure customers, whenever they come with any of their product being faulty, what we do is make sure we, we give them the best service we can and partially still inspire them, then impact them, the knowledge which we have in the way that we, if there's anywhere we see that there is any lapses, we will let you know and see how we can enhance your own work. So that's what we do. So we all know that in this country we have customers with Wahala. <laughs> so how have you dealt with customers with wireless? Well, Computer Village, to say, um, we all know that name has actually gone a long way. And for you to stand out in this business, you need to be committed and meet up what the customer demand is. Doing that, you sometimes customers may be, may be a little bit challenging in the sense that you meet different kind of people. So sometimes you have to be at your own best in order to attend to them. While doing that, you have to make sure that you are in your best mood. Makes sense, promotions. Has there been any competition anyway in this space? 
how do you cope with that? Because I mean, there are a lot of people in this place that does something like that. Uh, what we do is that the way I cope is to make sure the pricing, and put it that way, pricing. Sometimes um, that's the only way we can you can stand out among your peers, because in this environment we have over 100 shops that does the same thing in this complex. So what we do basically is that I make sure my buying costs and my selling costs, I find a way to make sure that I balance it and make sure at least when you're doing a business, when you get 30 to 20% of it, that is enough for me. Why other people can do 50, 70%. But I felt retaining a customer is actually my own calling. I prefer to retain a customer if need be going beyond my, my reach. So I think um, that's the only way I felt I can stand out. So how do you undo like disagreement among your business partners? We, <laughs> when it comes to that, we do fight every day. If that is what you need me to say, it's 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 so challenging in a way that sometimes you give them products and services, they promise you they are going to pay so to a certain amount of money. At the end of the day, what they do. They might not get it might not be up to what you guys bargain on. But because of the continuity of the business, sometimes you just have to accept and look forward to doing other business with. So along like um these years that you've been coming, has there been any time that you regretted the decision that you made in this business? <laughs> to be candid, I am not actually because I found this fun and loving to do. So, uh, some, it, this is actually my strength, if I'm to say. This is my strength and I love helping people. And with that, I felt helping people will take you a long way. So everything is not about monetization. To me, I don't know, to other people it might be the money, but to me, it's not actually, all is not money. So that's why, that's how I stand out. Okay. So, um, the Nigerian economy now is a lot. <laughs> so how has it affected this, your business? Uh, what, is the, what has been like the advantages and disadvantages? Um, Nigerian economy, we all know the situation of the country. And we know the dollar rate and the pricing are not always stable. To meet up, well, all I can say now is that I just have to tell, appeal to the government. If there's a way they can regulate the dollar, and and with all this, it still falls back to FOI and all. I believe if there's a regulation on the FOI, it will balance everything. It is a little bit challenging, but we have to cope because that's how we have become configured, and that's how we do. So what's like your motivation every day? What makes you get up and say, ah, I must go to work today? What's your motivation? Actually, my motivation is make sure, making sure that I I meet a new client every day. Just like we are here, there have been some customers that have been here, and there are some that are challenging. But all we do is just making sure that even if the service is not rendered, just make sure you put a smile on the, side, on the customer's face. Like the customer that went now, they came actually with a problem that is actually a battery. So with my discretion, I had to tell them the keyboard is bad. And it's not all about me fixing the battery all because I want to get money. Those are what we call other services. That is some, some engineers will look at that and just kind of keep an eye out of it. But we make sure that we make sure that we, we eat the stone where it needs to be touched. And I think that's what we did. So you said like, um, what motivates is meeting new clients every day. So what happens when you don't meet like a new client in a day? Uh, <laughs> I thank God. <laughs> that's what I do. I just have to thank God. Because every day, you don't know what the day is going to offer you. You just have to believe that you're going to get there. Even if you're not meeting your target for the day, that shouldn't discourage you to prepare for the next day. So that is why meeting new people, meeting clients has actually been my, what motivates me. Okay. So where do you see Ubi Vine in the next five years? 
I do I have I have some other companies which I undo also apart from Obivine, which I believe I'm seeing Obivine out of this environment per se to be globally, to be recognized worldly, to be recognized all over um how do I put it? To be recognized all over the world. Yeah, that is where I see will be fine in the next five years. That's very good. So can you like advertise your business in one minute? Wow. Tell us what you do. Well, my um Obe Yaga Dogi, CRMD of Obivine. What we do is we make sure we satisfy customer needs, we buy and sell, which we do buying and selling of gadgets. Then after sales service is what we rendered also. Yeah, I think. So what advice do you have for the upcoming ones that wants to venture into this business? Well, you know the economy we have now, you can advise people. They tend to choose what you want to do it comes from your mind. You can only impact a little knowledge into them. The decision lies within them what they want to do in the next future. So what I can advise them is to stick to what's best for them. Because if I have not done that, taking that decision, I believe I won't be here today. And if, if I did not go with what I like or what I love doing, I won't be seated here today as Obivai, CEO and MD. So I will, I will just advise the younger ones coming up to stick to what you love doing and I believe with time you get to where you are. So I hope that when I have issues with my phones oh, I can you, call. You, you want me to work on your phone now? I can <laughs> I No, I when I have issues with my phone I can call my You can also help us advertise about Obivine. What we do, we sell phone repair, we sell laptop repair, we sell printers and repair and we do more of networking also. So those are basically what we do. Thank you so much. And it's nice having you around. And thank you. Make sense promotion. Shout out to Make Sense Promotion. One in town. <laughs> I say, my brother, my blood, right from Con City, and we're taking this right to the world. Watch out. Peace. Okay, guys. So that's the end of this interview with Obi Vine. You should make sure to patronize Obi Vine. Come and get your phones repaired, your laptops, whatever gadgets. They deal with everything. Keep it locked. Make Sense Promotion. Peace. Make sense promotions. Make sense promotions.